Hey friends and welcome to another episode of Team Jesus Outdoors. I really believe, for me, I have the perfect Lowrance system right here. A few months back I did a video comparing the Lowrance Elite products to Hummingbird Helix products. That video has gotten lots of views and the feedback from that video has been excellent. Since that time I have picked up my new boat and I have spent the last two weeks outfitting my boat with new electronics. Given a pretty tight budget I have put together what I believe to be the perfect electronics setup for me at this time. There were two things that I insisted on having for an electronics package in my new boat. I wanted the absolute most screen real estate that I could get away with or that I could afford and I definitely wanted to have a system that was networked. I wasn't happy with the way the Elite 9 Sherp was mounted and I had my own Elite 9 Ti from my last boat to add so I removed the Elite 9 Sherp and I added my Elite 9 Ti with the Total Scan Transducer. Here I have a NEMA backbone that consists of three T's. Actually, this one happens to be a double T, but so I have my power coming into this last T. Then I have two dropper lines. I have two drop cables going to this unit and going to the Elite 9 Chirp and the Elite 9 TI. And then out the other end, I have a 15 foot backbone cable that's running all the way up front. Up front I have another T which has the Elite has a drop line going to the Elite 7 and then a terminator on the end. Running the NEMA network cable and power for the Elite 7 up front through the extruded gunnel all the way to the bow took a little bit of work but it was well worth the effort as it provided for a super clean installation. Once you've powered your NEMA network and you've connected all the devices to your NEMA network, you have resistors on both ends of your network so it's a closed system. Then you'll want to test your units and make sure all units are receiving a signal from each other. So on the Elite 7 Chirp, on the Elite Chirp series or, or Elite HDI series, you hit menu twice, go down to the NEMA 2000, arrow key over, arrow key down, and enter to see the device list. And there we can see I'm getting a, all, the, all of the units connected to my NEMA network. I have the Elite 7 CDI display, which is this device. I have the Elite 9 CDI display, which is my Elite 9 Chirp. And then you can see that I'm also getting a NEMA signal from my, my Elite 9 Ti. To close this box, hit Menu again. Arrow down, Close Dialog. So I'm getting a signal to this unit. We're going to test this right now. There's the Rouge River.
There's Zug Island. All right, this is a spot that I fish pretty frequently, right in the mouth of the Rouge River. I'm gonna go back to my Elite TI unit and I'm going to set a waypoint. And while I do that from the back, you should see a waypoint pop up right here. I'm gonna label the waypoint RR01 for River Rouge 01. Let's see if this works. All right, right there it is. I can see already that it worked. There's a waypoint that I created from the Elite 9 Chirp at the back of the boat. That is a beautiful thing. I have a completely networked Lowrance system. For the way that I typically fish, this setup gives me just about everything I need. Here in the back, I've got two 9-inch units. So I basically have the equivalent of an 18-inch screen, or I have 18 inches worth of screen real estate between these two units. In the front, I have a 5-inch sonar unit and a 7-inch mapping unit. So I have pretty close to the equivalent screen real estate that I would have with a single 12 inch unit. Hey, leave us a comment in the comment box below. Let me know, do you have networked graphs on your boat? Whether you do or you don't, for the style of fishing that you do, do you see an advantage to networking your electronics? Hey, one thing I encourage all of you guys to do, at least twice a year, go to your manufacturer's website, whether that's Lowrance or Humminbird or Garmin, whatever, go to the manufacturer website and see if there's any updates. For this particular Humminbird Elite 7 Chirp, there is in fact an update right now. From the manufacturer's website, you download the update onto an SD card. Typically, they want a real small card, like a two, like a two gig card, and then you just put the card into the unit and start it up. The unit automatically recognizes that you've put an updating card in it and the unit does the update automatically. Simple process. Now I can put my map card back in it. And the good news is the update did not wipe out my waypoints. That's what I was looking to see. But that's a super important tip, guys. Make sure at least twice a year, I try to do it first thing in the spring before I'm out in the water, and I do it again in the fall, or sometimes I'll even check midsummer. But make sure that you are make sure that you are going to the manufacturer's website at least annually and checking for updates. If you have software updates for your units, you want to install them. I really believe, for me, I have the perfect Lowrance system right here. But I am pretty sure that the system I've the system I've just put together on this boat is as close to a perfect system as I can afford right now. I stand by what I said in the last video. 
I do believe the Hummingbird Helix has a superior I do believe the Hummingbird Helix and Solix has superior side imaging to Lowrance. I stand by that. I think mega imaging mega imaging technology is the best side imaging technology out right now. I still think that Hummingbird I still think that the mapping in Hummingbird products is slightly better than Lowrance. Not by a whole bunch, but slightly better. At the end of the day, I still believe that the best unit that you can purchase right now is a great big Hummingbird Solix. But I also will still argue that for the money, I cannot buy more bang for my buck than the Lowrance 9 Elite Ti. I hope that you have found the information in this video to be helpful or to be useful to you. Thanks for watching another episode of Team Jesus Outdoors. If you haven't already seen the Lowrance Elite TI versus Hummingbird Helix video, I encourage you to go back and watch it. I'll leave a link here on the end screen. There was some really good information in that video. If you're not already subscribed, I hope that you'll click on that subscribe button, hit that little bell next to it so you get alerted when I put out a new video. Hey, leave us a comment in the comment box below. Let me know what do you th what is your opinion on a network system? Are you currently running a network system? Do you think it's worth the time and energy and cash for the way that you fish to network your your uh, graphs from the front of the boat to the back of the boat? Are you currently running networked electronics, or are you considering networking your electronics? Or are you considering a complete upgrade of your electronics and you're trying to decide should you network them or not? But hey, leave us a comment in the comment box below. Let us know what you think. Make sure to click that like button. Share this video if you would. God bless. Tight lines. We'll see you.